Thanks for joining us guys and welcome to the Power Platform in real life. Let's get the hands on to build a Dynamics 365 deployment process we discussed on the part 1 video. If you haven't seen that video yet, have a look. It shows everything we'll build together. Today we'll look at creating the service principles. Each service principle you create will have access to one or multiple Dynamics 365 environments as an application user. We'll use that user to deploy solutions to the environment. To create it, navigate to your portal.azure.com and type app registration in the search bar. Then click new registration, give it a name, and click register. Now let's create a secret for its authentication. Click new secret, give the secret any name you'd like and click add. This is your only chance to copy the secret value and store in a secured place. Later we'll talk about Azure Key Vault, but that's not the scope for today. One more thing we have to do is to give the service principal access to Dynamics 365 APIs. Select User Impersonation and then click Add Permissions. The last step is to click Grant Consent for your organization. And voila, our service principal is created. Each service principle you create will be an application user in Dynamics 365. So think about how many you'd like to create. Maybe one for dev, one for test, one for production, or maybe one for non-production environments and another for production only. Your call. Now you have to allow the service principle created to have access to the Dynamics 365 environment as an application user. Let's go to admin.powerplatform.com. Under Environments, select the environment you'd like to give access to. Then click Settings, Application User, New Application User. Now select the service principle that you'd like to give access to this environment as an application user. Make sure to assign it to a business unit and to the security role. Ideally, this user would have only permission to deploy solutions and change the data that's required. However, this is out of scope for now. We're going to leave as a system administrator. Once you add the application user, it cannot be deleted. However, you can deactivate as you can see in a few tests we did in this environment. This is the one we created though. And done! Our service principal is now an application user in the dev environment. We're ready to repeat the same steps on another environment, just making sure to select the correct service principal to the correct Dynamics 365 environment. Your turn now.